Hey what's going on YouTube, it's Pat Panu here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and jailbreak and remove UDID activation for iOS 5.0 beta 2. So you want to do is uh, select your device in iTunes and uh, mine's already on, on um, mine was, mine's already on 5.0 beta 1 uh, it doesn't have to be you just want to uh, make sure you have the beta 1 and beta 2 firmware download as well as the old version of Red Snow 0.9.8 beta 1 downloaded so we're just going to uh, option click restore to iOS 5 beta 2 to know it's beta 2 you should see a D at the end just before the uh, this thing right here. I don't know what it's called. Let's click open and click on restore. And let's go to extract the software. Uh, currently, my iPod's in the respring loop on iOS 5 beta 2. Uh, I have no idea how this happened. I don't even have a mobile substrate installed. So it's kind of uh, odd. I mean, it's beta software, so what do you expect? But yeah, this is a uh, 4th gen, just to prove to you. This is going to be having on a 4th gen Apotouch. Uh, you just want to make sure you back up everything you got. And I mean everything. You see, you can't back it up anymore. Alright, uh, I'm going to pause once it's done. Okay, so it's just about done. And there you go. Your iPod has been stored to factory settings and is restarting. Um, we don't need iTunes open. Um, we're just going to quit out of it. Out of iTunes. And we're going to open up a red snow. Make sure it's 0 0.9.8 beta 1. And you want to select the beta 1 firmware file. And let's watch the animation. Right there. There it is. So, um, yeah. Um, we're going to turn off our iPod right now. we just going to turn it off completely. And on the screen right here, you want to make sure that install CD is checked. And it's still trying to shut down. There we go. And you just want to click next and make sure it's often plugged into the computer. And now we're going to enter DFU mode. So prepare to press the power button. So let me and go. 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. I always release it before because then it would automatically start up again. For some reason, and then you just release the power button. And there we go. Up on RAM disk, now it says download jailbreak data. So let's just let this run and I'll come back to you once it is done. So there we go, done. Okay, let me pause. Okay, so it's just done and starting back up again. Uh, now what we do is just hide Red Snow. Um, if you're on Windows, you want to use iPhone Box. If you're on a Mac, then I would recommend uh, using iPhone Explorer. Pretty simple application. 
but very effective. Go to root, go to system, library, and core services, and system version of PLS, drag that to your desktop. Okay, so I finally got it working. Um, you can see the start menu, and in here, release type, you want to delete that string, and just save, and command Q, and then we just do, drag it back, just click OK, and there we go, that's done with that, so, and then on what's new, it will say finish, back, and cancel, click on back, we're going to click on just boot tether right now. Click on next and then turn off our device again. Okay, so once that's done, um, we're going to pr prepare to press the power button. Two, one. Come on, power button. release the power button okay we could release the power home button and there we go it's uploading kernel rebooting and uh there we go we're done with the red snow part and I'm just going to let this boot up and I'll come back to you. Okay. So, there we go. Um, just click site to set up. English. Next. Um, and yeah, just go through the setup. I'm, I'm actually going to restore it in a the store from back up in iTunes so just open up iTunes and then the store from your backup and then we got rerun Resno if you restore from backup so um our iPod and uh, now it won't show the uh, unable to activate your iPod that's because we already got everything set up Pets I put touch fortune yesterday. Yes, this is the one that we want. Use older backup. And then it's going to uh reboot. So um I'll come back to you. What's the reboot? So there we go. It's one in progress. And we come back to you. Alright guys, it should be rebooting right now. There we go been restored, Saints Wrap has been stored, and just click OK, um, and then, uh, we'll get to the, uh, home screen, so let me come back to you. Okay guys, so it should be just getting to the lock screen, a couple of seconds. There we go. And let's slide to unlock. And there we can see the home screen with everything on here. Um, Studio won't work because we've got rerun Red Snow again. I know, kind of sucks. Uh, but the good part is you could sync over Wi Fi connection. So that's uh, pretty cool. Very manually managed. So I'll come back to you guys. Okay, guys. So again, in right now, you want to click on just with tether right now, and you're still using the iOS 4. Point. I mean, not 4. Point, but 5.0 beta 1 firmware. You got pointed to that firmware. Otherwise, if you point it to the beta 2 firmware, then it will it will not recognize it. So just slide the power off. And there we go. Go to click next. 
and we're pre prepared to press the power button. So, oops. Ah, stupid thing. Okay, press the power button right now. Home and power button right now. We're gonna release the power button right now, but keep your thumb on the home button. Always do it early, because then it will. Okay, jailbreaking. Should work this time. Oops. And there we go. So we're just gonna. So there we go. It says it's finished. It's good. So yeah. That's basically it. I'll come back to you once it is started up. Alright guys, so I heard it go bring a little chime. And it's probably gonna no it won't open up iTunes. And uh this beta just fixes some bug fix bug fixes like that um uh activation method but not this one by removing the strings of code. Um of course Apple won't patch the tear break in the beta because it's just too much time and too much work and it's not a public release, it's just a beta, so um just to show you that I'm on beta two. Uh, as you can see, we've got new iCloud icon, and also down here, a new storage and backup icon. Uh, if we go to general, and uh, about, and you can see right there, I'm on uh, 5.0, 9A524A, D. And of course, we can change the name from here, I'm not going to. So yeah guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later in the next video. Peace out guys. Peace.